So hard to hear with this band playing over the officials calls. Oh, he's also wearing the mask, so that of course doesn't help our uh, sideline judge. That we need. It looked like it was... I don't even know who the foul was called. I, th I thought it was uh, Rich Creek, but again, hard to tell. Either way, it is Wheaton Ball with under a minute remaining. Dahan giving them very efficient minutes at center. Make sure there's no backcourt violation. From way downtown, barely hits rim. Miller with the J with a beautiful underhand pass. And a good layup in transition. Almost thought about dunking it, but the help defense was there forcing up the layup. Tarona fakes the three. Bad pass. Brennan steals it with one hand, palms the ball. And with 23 seconds, St. Francis can hold for the last shot if they'd like to. And I think they will. I think they're going to try and get an expedient end to this game. They've got everyone got their reps in. Their seniors are going to leave here with a victory, it looks like. But you can't count Wheaton out just yet, so. Three points, seven left on the clock. Turnaround jumper, and he touched the line. One second, enough time for a pass, a dribble, and a heave from about three quarters away from the baseline. Ooh, almost traveled, and that's not going to count. Doesn't matter, as it was clearly an air ball. And that does it for the third quarter. We'll take a break. You're watching SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. B -b -b bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Find out why everybody is saying that the bird is the word. In Wheaton, Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness is the word. Shoveling snow hurts your lower back. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness will get you better. Look for the huge orange wings at 600 South County Farm Road, suite number 201 in Wheaton, 60187. Call now and take advantage of their Valentine's Day special, 30-minute CBD massage for only $30. They accept most health insurance plans and in most cases do not require a doctor's referral for treatment. For more information, call 630-446-5660 or email them at albatrossphysicaltherapy at gmail.com. But bird, 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 bird is the word. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness, pain-free. Uh-oh, Band thought they had a couple more seconds than they thought they did. Meanwhile, inbounds play for Wheaton. Steal attempt by Miller, and now he's going to get an open layup the other way. I wanted him to dunk that, Kyle. He had a, the whole half of the court to himself. He did, but maybe it's kind of like sportsmanship. You don't want to dunk like that in a JV varsity game. Oh, uh, you're right. Didn't how about that hair, that though? How much, how much yeah. gel do you think Miller uses to get hair like that? I'm definitely jealous. I wish I could tell you. I just have to get the secret for getting hair like that first. Then I'll, <laughs> then I'll tell you how much gel. 41 to 25. Now, who has the better hair? Is it Miller or Troy Palomalu? No one can beat Troy Palomalu in the hair department. Can't really beat Troy Palomalu. The player and the hair, both great. Yeah. 41-25, the score with 7.36 to go. By the way, don't go anywhere. Post-game interviews, most likely with, uh, with St. Francis and possibly with Wheaton Academy. Everything's just kind of bonkers tonight with uh, the COVID scare, but we want to make sure the varsity players are healthy first and foremost, and we wish the best for both them and their families. Hopefully that it did not spread on the campus. Layup, beautiful pass, 41-27 now with 7.30 remaining. Still time for Wheaton, but Josh, they really need a couple of steals and some quick buckets the other way. They do, and it's the, the offense has been there for Wheaton. They, they've been a little too reliant on the three, but the, the problem is they have not been aggressive enough on defense and really unable to force a lot of turnovers from St. Francis. If they, if they want to win this game, they're going to have to force some turnovers. That and just not enough consistency attacking the paint. I don't see enough creativity on the low block with those low block moves. No, they, they've really submitted to the size advantage that the Spartans have today. Three-point shot is good by McLeod. Sorry, that's, that's Kiesler. 44-27, that's Colin Kiesler. 12 rebounds in his last 14 games. 44-27, the score, three-pointer no good. Offensive board is there briefly. 
And then a foul from behind. It was committed by Matt O'Donnell. And that's another example of just kind of forcing the three up a bit prematurely. Uh, not, not the best look, but it's, it's really all that has worked for Wheaton so far. You haven't seen too much of Miller, but when they have their normal starting lineup, Miller's the creator, Yaruso the scorer. And Yaruso kind of that Jokic type of efficient scorer. Miller looks great though tonight. I know he's playing against a JV team, but still that was a highly contested shot. Almost hit the top of the backboard. Great job with the creativity. Against Chicago Christian, they missed a lot of Sebastian Miller's creativity early on in the game. And it was later when they cut down their 15 point lead to about six was when Miller was starting to create for himself and make the shots fall. So he is a very deep offensive arsenal that when unleashed is difficult to stop. Here's the seniors again. Zuloff led by Lacasio and Chiambor. Excellent job by Miller and Yaruso. And that might be the last time they have to play tonight unless we see some quick threes made by Wheaton Academy. I imagine that we might see Chase Riggs come in a bit later, but I think it's going to be the senior lineup from here on out in the final six minutes of this contest. to so give them a nice send off here at the Spyglass Athletic Center. Wheaton Academy had their chance, but you got to be better at attacking the paint. You can't get complacent with that three-point shot. Unless, of course, you have Steph Curry and Klay Thompson shooting those threes. Yeah, I mean, they're certainly not in, in, in this high school right now, but even they don't shoot every single shot from three. Just about 75% of them. <laughs> Sometimes of those 75% they shoot, they're good on 60% of them. It is a shame not being able to see Clay on the floor this year for Golden State. Hope the Wish him the best as he deals with that Achilles injury. I do like seeing Kevin Durant on the Nets, though, but I'm just a little biased. You love Brooklyn? Oh, yeah. Are you, oh, that's right. You're from New I've, York. I've been a Nets fan since they were in Jersey. Do you miss them being in Jersey, or, or do you like that they're in Brooklyn now? Uh, it's, Brooklyn's a bit easier to get to, and it's, it's definitely a bigger market being able to get guys like Harden and Kyrie and KD to come play and that, that wasn't something that was seen as much when, when they were in New Jersey. Good layup and drive to the basket by Dykema. 46-29. You know, some people don't like New Jersey. I loved it when I was there. Like the people, they, they pumped my gas. It was a beautiful shoreline. I think New Jersey gets too bad of a rap in my opinion. As a New Yorker, I'm, I'm legally obligated to make fun of New Jersey at every possible opportunity, but there, there are some bright spots there, no doubt. It was definitely a good drive through as I drove up the coast up to Boston. It's, it's, definitely, it's, it's definitely one of the better places to stop over. A lot of, a lot of good free food opportunities. The pizza is the decent enough because it's close enough to the city. So. <laughs> That's decent enough. It's not great, but it's, it's edible. 46-29, the score still. Again, New York things. I'm, I'm a huge pizza snob, and I'm sorry to say this in the Chicago area, but New York's got the, got the pizza market cornered. I haven't been to Manhattan or Brooklyn yet, so I can't determine that. Three-point shot good, just too little, too late. If they got a couple of steals, maybe, but the problem for Wheaton Academy, no shot clock either, so St. Francis can drain that clock if they want to. Now, I, I don't see, I don't see a, a slow game coming for St. Francis. I think these seniors want to give everything they have in their last game here. They're going to keep the intensity up all game long, no matter what's on that scoreboard. We'll stick with the action, a 46-32 score. We appreciate you watching. We hope you're safe. We wish all the best to Wheaton Academy's varsity lineup. Just a tough spot tonight. And it's not just that they couldn't play tonight, Josh, but this is such a big rivalry, so close together. These kids have been playing a lot. AAU and feeder basketball in seventh and eighth grade. And the fact that they can't play tonight against their varsity uh, brothers and also their rivals, it stinks. But safety first, basketball second. Yeah, and really that's been that's been the theme of it with COVID, but it's, we still have a game going on, and that's the important thing. You gotta give a lot of credit to Wheaton to be able to schedule this JV team to come here on such short notice and it's great to continue having sports through these difficult times because I know that's something that has helped me get me through. A 14 point lead for Wheaton Academy, the Warriors out of West Chicago, Illinois. A lot of these kids from West Chicago, Winfield and Wheaton. Couple kids though from Wheaton, they drive as far as Long Grove and Bartlett to come to the games. 
And that should about do it, 49-32. But for the JV team, pride is still there, and we'll see how much pride they have and how much intensity they have down the stretch. And I believe Andrew Smith also wore number 44 at Butler. So Dahan reminds you of Andrew Smith and also has the same number. Now, where's your New York accent, Josh? What happened to that? It comes and goes. There, 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 definitely, there are definitely some words that really brings out the New Yorker in me, but I'm not from Manhattan. I'm not from Brooklyn, so it's, not, it's definitely not as thick as, as a lot of well, my friends want it to be. When, the, when you wake up in the morning, are the bites chirping or the birds chirping? <laughs> I think the birds are chirping. Okay, so I don't know what that other one is. <laughs> you never heard, you ever seen the movie? Um, what's it called? Dang it, I can't remember. It's got Christian Bale when he was a teenager in it. Oh, um, Newsies. The Bayids are chirping. I have not seen Newsies. It's good, man. It's got Christian Bale. Oh, um, do you like Bill Pullman? Big time. Yeah, Bill Pullman's in it. Mostly because of Spaceballs, but it's still... Okay. Of all the movies with Bill Pullman, you pick Spaceballs? I'm a Star Wars fan, and Spaceballs is incredible. <sighs> I mean, come on. You got to go with Independence Day if you're going to do Bill Pullman. That was my next choice. I'm not going to lie, but Spaceballs over everything. While you were sleeping, great movie. Casper, well, not a great movie, but Bill Pullman's good in it. 49-32, ill-advised pass. Once again, don't go anywhere. The post-game show brought to you by Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness... See if we can get some JV players from Wheaton Academy. They gave it 100% effort tonight. They were just outgunned, outmanned, and really the size disadvantage really hurt them tonight. I mean, it, it can't be easy not knowing that you're going to play a game until and just about game time. So you got to you got to give you got to give Wheaton a lot of credit for giving everything they have and making this game competitive after probably finding out about this not too much longer before we did. I'm sure that they probably found out there might have been a COVID scare like maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, so this was always a possibility. But knowing how big this rivalry is, I think the varsity players and coaches were trying everything they could to get varsity against varsity tonight. Of course. And also knowing it was being broadcasted too, as that shot no good, but a partial foul by DeHaan. We'll get a couple of substitutions for the Wheaton Academy Warriors. And on the drive home, Josh, you got to go to Scooby's. It's a West Chicago uh, specialty. Great hot dogs. Okay. Great Italian beef. I was definitely gonna. I was absolutely gonna ask you for somewhere to eat on the way home, so I'll have to check. That really spot. good. Yeah. It's the pride of West Chicago. Uh, as a as a transplant, I, you gotta you gotta find the local eateries. And with a name like Scooby's, how bad can it be, right? <laughs> And what's great about it is originally there's a drive through behind Scooby's. They closed that down because, you know, drive throughs before the pandemic, they were pretty much done. And then, of course, the pandemic hit, and now drive throughs are big again, so they reopened the drive through behind Scooby's. Now, will, we, will I see monsters at Scooby's, or have Scooby and Shaggy chase all of them away? You might. You might. <laughs> and please don't say when you're at the uh, drive through hey, can I get a Scooby snack? <laughs> I definitely wasn't thinking that. I don't know what you're talking about. You, you know what I'm saying, though. Like, like, <laughs> like Shaggy would. Oh yeah, I'm sure they get that all the time, and I'm probably still gonna say it anyway. Two thirty-three remaining. Pump fake by Hilmer. Back out to the three-point line. Dykma with it, driving in. Back out to Dehan for three. Air ball. It's rebounded easily from McLeod. Dykeman's really been the main uh, warrior player to have a lot of success inside. He give, got to give him a lot of credit for continually testing the St. Francis defense. Himself. It's just a shame that Wheaton Academy didn't try that more. And I, I'm assuming Dykeman's their best dribbler, fastest guy, which is why he's been doing it the majority of the time. <laughs> Looking for the foul. No call, but Jerdy gets two points on the layup. And a nice move inside, coming off a block on that last possession as well. Good job in transition, finding the open man. Can't get the second chance bucket. Rebounded by Wheaton Academy. Two on one the other way, good pass. And they finish the play that time, it's Wade Davis. 
And no timeout. Thought about calling a timeout. Said they're just going to get the substitution right away. And for Wheaton Academy, too, they don't want that running clock. So anything over 20 point ahead would be the running clock. So Wheaton Academy's doing the best they can to keep it under 20. And for St. Francis, probably only two more possessions as that's blocked by Wheaton Academy. One twenty-two remaining in this varsity versus JV grudge match. From way downtown, he drains it that time. Hilmer. Kind of garbage time minutes right now. Floater shot, can't fall. Rebounded by the Spartans that time, no good. Third chance opportunity coming up. Good save, and they finish. Saved by McLeod. Zula finishes it. Now that's how you know it's a rivalry game. There's under a minute left in a blowout, and you still see bodies hitting the floor. Got to give a lot of credit for Logan McLeod laying out and allowing his teammate to make that bucket. Every bucket matters in this rivalry. Bra bragging rights on the line. Social media bragging rights on the line. In 2021, all bragging rights are social media bragging rights. For much of that uh, <laughs> quarantine, I only saw my friends on social media. That's true. Shot no good. Rebound. It's going to be a breakaway coming up for Wheaton Academy. Right-handed layup. With the clock dwindling on this potential upset for Wheaton Academy, not going to happen tonight. Reach-in foul committed by... Noah Rich Creek, sophomore forward from Bartlett. He's very good inside the arc this season, is Shambor. 50% with his two point buckets. Doesn't score a lot, though, under three points per game about 60% 60 60 from the line as well. Got to work on that as he continues on with the game of basketball. No good. Wheaton Academy is going to try for one more shot. Three-pointer. Good. At time. It's good by where, the guy wearing Michael Jordan's number. Not on the roster, but I'm sure he's a good player. 53-42. That will do it. A good fight by the Warriors, but the Spartans are victorious as the Wheaton-West Chicago rivalry goes the way of the St. Francis Spartans, 53-42. to Josh, final thoughts before we go to the postgame show. Well, I mean, you just got to give it up for the seniors. They're going to have a senior night celebration here shortly, but a good way to go out on a win for St. Francis. And Wheaton Academy, So you got to give so much credit to every single player who is wearing one of those jerseys. Difficult situation playing a level above their competition, but they made it competitive, and they left it all out on the court tonight. They sure did, and it was starting to get a little interesting. Then Miller hit that shot right before halftime, 2016. Then when it became 30 to 16, you were thinking, well, they got to knock down some threes to really make it interesting. They didn't, and the final score, 53 to 42. So, for Nick Cananaco, Josh Berber, I'm Kyle Smith. Signing off, coming up next, the post-game show. You're watching SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone.